What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we have a brand new product review. We're reviewing 2021 Select H2 Hobby Hybrid. Now before we get started, and it's actually very relevant to this one, we have a giveaway going on the channel. We're actually giving away a box of Select H2. And um, if you haven't checked out our National Treasures First Off the Line review, which is a huge box, probably the biggest top three, I'd say, box we ripped on the channel, but one of the biggest boxes we ever ripped. And we have a giveaway for a box of this, and all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then on the National Treasures video, uh, which is linked down below in the description, just comment down below your favorite product and um, your sports card product and why. So that's uh, that's it, and you're entered very quick and easy to enter. So as always, if you guys like these videos and want to see more product reviews, you know, rookie chases, stuff like that, any sports card related content, I uh, like this and not like this. As always, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share, comment. We'll have many more. So select H two. We did hybrid, uh, not hybrid, hobby. This is hybrid, and we did uh, first off the line. So far, so good. We actually pulled that Beal one of one snakeskin from the first off the line, among some other stuff too. So, um, yeah, if that's also available, I'm probably gonna post it for sale soon. So, if you have any offers, feel free to hit me up. Uh, the snakeskins go for a ton. That's the court side too. And yeah, but there's some of the nicest cards that I've seen probably in a long time. And speaking of nice cards, Trey Young, love, uh, love that one in a recent mail day. So, a lot of fun stuff going on. So, here's some information for this product. Now, I don't actually know the SRP, but. Uh, resale is about 400 srp isn't isn't crazy high um i don't think usually for the hybrid ones but the resale is 400 uh, give or take 20 bucks get six cars per pack four packs per box and 20 box cases so six prisms per box now these have exclusive disco prisms you ever see those little circles all over cards little bubbles kind of that's uh, the design here so there's red blue gold green black number from 49 to one then there's and also kind of just like the plain silver disco and regular silvers. There's RPAs with that same one, which are, uh, I believe, gold and black um, one of ones, gold to 10. And then, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a lesser version of hobby, but better than retail. So they made, started making these maybe in the past like few years. So we will see how this goes. They can be solid and they can also be not solid. It really just depends. I mean, I think football, now football select was a different animal. I mean, every box was just it was too it was too good almost you know it, it's suspiciously good so we'll see if there's anything like football but yeah that was a i don't even know what's going on with that one we got jaw excellent choice pinini good job choosing a cover athletes this year i saw a lot of jaw got the kobe before preludes awesome shoe all right so there's our box and hey the packaging you know it works the packs aren't you know getting thrown around and it works that's all i can say about it so Here's the box once again six cards per pack four packs per box and here is that uh that back here so everything we can find we got the all the parallel so three tier base set once again the black one of ones and then also look for um the rpas right here jersey autograph disco prisms gold and black 10 to 1. so that's stuff you can find the autographs are not guaranteed but you can find them so uh, not the most common but who knows maybe you get lucky the greens and the golds and the blacks once again all discos so Let's see what we can get. Once again, we are giving away a box of this one. So first pack up, Let's see what we can get. Oh, nice start. I like that. And our Instagram Pac-Man cards right there in the background. We showed some um, sneak peeks of products. Um, more coming soon. Kind of first looks at like National Treasures when it came out. Um, Spectra, Optic, all the stuff has to come. So I do there. Definitely check it out if you haven't and drop a follow. All right, so Ant is our first one. This is the concourse, a good one. And all the corners look white. They are, I don't believe they're white. I think that's just the pattern, but it threw me off a hundred times. Every time I look at it, I think it's you know, damaged or something, but that's a nice card. Take an Ant and Steven Adams, Kyra Lewis Jr. So there's the fast break, not fast break, H2 uh, discos. So get that bubble design. I personally don't love the bubble design. I don't I don't hate it at all, but I, I feel like they could have done something a little better, like um I don't know. Some people like it, some people don't like it, it really just you know varies on personal preference, but and there's a nice Okoro there, so there's the Cairo. These are not numbered, just like these next ones, the Okoro, silver, and Composo. So Select is very rookie heavy, unlike Prism, which is not, so Select will have you know half the players being rookies. And then Prism will have one sixth being rookies, so much easier to pull the uh, much easier to pull the rookies in Select. So quickly protect these ones. Didn't have sleep prepared this time. 
I was on a roll too. I had to prepare like several straight times and this time, my bad. There we go. So next pack up, first pack, pretty solid. I think the numbered prisms would be very good. You definitely want those numbered ones. Um, we got the silver and we got the fast break one, but let's see if we can get maybe a black one of one. That'd be nice. Or a nice court. And speaking of court side right here, we have a court side. Trey Jones. I'll take a Trey Jones. There's Kyra again. Trey Jones, a uh, court side. RJ Hampton. And, oh, and Luke Kennard. So the court sides are two per hobby box. So not the most common cards. And you know, we just got one right here. So nice to have that. Cat and there's Sadiq Bay. Another solid card there. All right, next pack up. Now, none of our packs are super thick. I feel like if you get an RPA, obviously unless there's a redemption, it would be pretty thick. So you'd probably tell them almost immediately. Kind of like when you open a blaster that guarantees a, a jersey card and you notice one pack is just bulging. Kind of like that. Uh, so far, no numbered ones. I don't think we have any numbered here either. Got Azabuki. Pokashevsky. And that's a good one. And Oedipus. So I like the Poku. We got Oturu. We're only waiting for Wiseman now. Um, I'm saying there's a decent chance the Wiseman's that next pack because Wiseman comes pretty often for us. Almost once a box, I'd say. Sometimes once a pack. There we go. So, question for you guys. Do you guys like the H2 ones? Do you like certain format better? Think that it's a good product, bad product? What are your thoughts? Of course, I'll have my kind of final thoughts and grading review at the end. Now, there better be a number card in here. Because they used to give a lot. I feel like a decent amount. Let's see if we have one. I, I think we do have one. Uh, red, it looks like. Because getting no numbered card would be would be not good. So, we have a uh, no one numbered card there. We have... oh. The screen's getting all bright and everything like that. And then we have a Lou Williams here. And we got a Kendrick Nunn. All right, red time. Here we go. Oh, no. We have this one first, Obi Toppin. And let me kind of just get this to focus a little better because it keeps spazzing out a little bit. And there we go. All right. Our red, the moment of truth. Nuggets. I'll take a Hampton. He might actually, this might be a Najee. Not even. It's Aaron Gordon. Uh, 39 to 49 and Kendrick Nunn. So let's uh, recap. It's a, it's a short but sweet one. Well, actually, in this case, just short. Let's take a look at what we had in total. So we have our base here. Uh, we did get a court side, two court sides. One was a parallel. Aturu, Toppin, Oladipo, Azabuki, Kennard, RJ Hampton, Kyra, and Campazo. And then in our highlight stack, we have an Aaron Gordon was our numbered one. It is a court side. It's nice, but Aaron Gordon... <laughs> It's just Aaron Gordon. Uh, Pokushevsky, fast break. Got the Sadiq Bay. We did get a courtside Trey Jones, a fast break Kyra, a silver Okoro, and an Ant Base. So some solid cards. No you know, one solo monster, but these are pretty decent ones. These uh, five right here. So you can, once again, get those blacks and the golds and the greens, which, although they're fast breaks and a little less kind of coveted um, around the hobby wise. It's still nice to get those, those short prints, and I feel like you have a decent chance to uh, get them as opposed to like hobby. Hitting a gold or black or something like that, or green and hobby is really, really tough. And H2 is a little bit easier, so you know, if you try to chase those short prints, this might be the one for you. So, uh, once again, about 400, give or take 20 for a box. Hobby, I think, is like at least double that. If I had to give it a rating on a scale from 1 to 10, I would say it's a solid. I'd say it's a solid. Five seven five, I think almost gave it a six, but then I don't like that. You know, you have such a, and I, I understand why, but you know, I wouldn't mind an easier chance that you know some sort of hit or something like that. Obviously, SRP being whatever it is, um, maybe might make more sense about that. But being four hundred resale, you'd hope that you get some sort of hit. The parallels are nice, but it's a it's a shame you're not getting any any autographs. Whereas if you buy a hobby box, you might probably get like two autos, and it's double the price. So kind of. Wondering what you guys would prefer, the this one or two of these, I guess, or one hobby box. So, um, yeah, that does it for this one. Cool to see this one opened. And once again, we're giving away a box of these. And um, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel. Then on the National Treasures video, which is linked down below and in the description, you just got to comment your favorite sports card product and why. And that's it. You were entered. So, very uh, cool stuff. I mean, nice to get the court. I really like the court side. So, if Trey Jones ever becomes like a superstar, that's a good card. And, and then these parallels. So, 
fun, fun stuff. And uh, we will have some more. Stay tuned for uh, people were asking about boxes versus breaks. That is coming soon for select. So stay, uh, stay tuned for that as well as we will do some more openings of the um, uh, the other formats as they come out. Retail should come out and then I'll have some more hobby and first off the line. So stay tuned for those and a lot of fun stuff. So um, hopefully we get some good polls and hope, wish you guys the best luck on your polls. So that does it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.